Hi, it's uh, Nick from Digital Yop, and today's video is all about Boat NMEA 2000 networks. We're going to break it down into three parts. Firstly, we're going to look at NMEA 2000 networks in general. Secondly, we're going to look at the cabling and connectors that are used to make up an NMEA 2000 network. And then thirdly, we're going to look at a couple of Digital Yop products that can integrate with NMEA 2000 networks to get data into apps uh, on tablets and iPads, and also devices that convert NMEA 0183, the old legacy format, to 2000 and vice versa. So let's take a look at NMEA 2000 in general. NMEA 2000 is the marine industry's method of interconnecting modern navigational electronics. You can integrate instruments, GPS, autopilots from a variety of different manufacturers, so that allows data to be shared across networks and systems. It's a CAN bus based system, so very similar to automotive CAN bus systems. They're ultra rugged, ultra reliable, but not particularly fast. An NMEA 2000 network runs at 250 kilobits a second, uh, and up to about 50 devices can connect. But there's a lot of error checking that goes on to make for a really reliable network. Now, the 250 kilobits a second in today's modern network world, of course, isn't that fast. And NMEA 2000 only allows for transmission of digital data. So numeric type data, not video uh, and so on. So you don't transfer radar images, sounder images, that type of thing. You're just transferring raw data like the depth, AIS data, GPS, wind, engine parameters, electrical parameters, and so on. So an NMEA 2000 network is formed around a backbone. So essentially imagine a backbone, a human backbone, and at each end of the backbone there's something called a terminator. Uh, which balances up the network. And then each item of equipment spurs off that network uh, to uh, share data and so on. Now the network needs power. It needs to be connected to a 12 volt power source, not to power the products, but to power the actual network. So that's the basis of an NMEA 2000 network. What we'll do now is look at the actual cabling and practical implementation of that. So let's look at how you put together an NMEA 2000 network. The industry uses a standard format of connector and to make it easy, Digital Yacht have produced an NMEA 2000 starter kit comprising six individual pieces. Essentially we supply a backbone kit like this uh, which has terminators that fit at either end. These are little resistors that are encapsulated in a plastic enclosure that balance up the network. And then each item of equipment spurs off the network. So also included in the box is a power cable to power up the NMEA 2000 network and an extra uh, drop cable to connect items of equipment. So this particular system uh, will have one port dedicated for power, the two end ports for the terminators, and then up to three devices can interconnect. Now, digital yacht devices all use uh, industry standard NMEA 2000 connectors, these metal ones, uh, which were used by a variety of different manufacturers. Some manufacturers, however, um, principally Raymarine, have opted for a, their own sort of lower cost plastic connectors, which they call CTORC NG. The data is still the same, but the connector format is slightly different, and you may need an adapter cable to convert from CTORC NG to NMEA 2000. We'd always recommend that you stick with the industry standard format for your main backbone and then terminate off that to any proprietary fittings. Now, you can expand the uh, starter kit very easily. You can remove the terminator from one end. Uh, add a cable between the two and then add another multi-piece or a single T-piece connector and grow the system as you need to. The key thing to remember is that you have a terminator at each end of the system. The system is powered uh, and that you use good quality drop cables to each individual item. Now products like our AIS, uh, NMEA 2000 compatible AIS, actually have the drop cable integrated so there's no need to buy an extra drop cable to go off to each item. One other point to remember is that the maximum length of a drop cable, in other words, from the backbone to the product, is five meters. So it shouldn't exceed five meters in length. So that's the cabling system, nice and easy, all plugs together using waterproof connectors uh, and suitable for DIY installation. Next, we'll look at some devices that can connect onto the network to help with interfacing. So now you've built your NMEA 2000 network, you can start adding equipment to it as necessary. Uh, first up, and what I'd suggest is our NavLink NMEA 2000 to Wi-Fi server. So this tees onto the backbone. It's actually self-powered from the backbone because it takes a little power. So you don't even need to connect power. It can take power from the NMEA 2000 network. This creates a 
uh, wireless point in your boat that tablets and iPads, smartphones, PCs, Macs, etc. can connect to. And then all the data from the NMEA 2000 network can be streamed across to those mobile devices for use within charting apps, navigation apps, instrument displays, and so on. So a super flexible bit of equipment um, and, and can transfer AIS, GPS, wind, instrument, electrical data, engine data, and so on into these consumer devices. Now, it may be that you have um, some legacy NMEA 0183 products on board uh, and you want to integrate them with the NMEA 2000 network, maybe older instruments that you want to share data with, and that's where iConvert comes in. So iConvert is an NMEA 2000 to 0183 bidirectional converter. In other words, it will do conversions from 2000 to 0183 and from 0183 to 2000. So a great device to add existing instruments that may not be NMEA 2000 compatible uh, into your system so that you can show data on chart plotters and also into iPads and tablets and, and so on. So a really flexible interface allowing legacy products to integrate with NMEA 2000. So thanks very much for listening. Of course, more information at www.digitalyacht.co.uk.